Hello everyone, I am Medhavi and I am here to take your English grammar class. As we discussed yesterday, uh, yesterday's topic was adjectives and degrees of comparison and due to the length of the topic, we have converted into two parts. The first part we have already done and here I am along with the second part. So without wasting time, let's get started. Yesterday I told you that we will be discussing the flashback and in the flashback we will be discussing the things that we already know about the topic or we have studied in our previous classes. We already know that adjectives change in form to show comparison. Positive, comparative and superlative are the three degrees of comparison. The positive degree is used when no comparison is missed. And we are talking about only one noun or pronoun. We have discussed this in our previous classes too. That if you are talking about only one person or one thing. And there is no comparison of that person or that thing with any other person or thing. So that is positive degree. For example, Suresh is a tall boy. Here we are talking only about Suresh. And there is no comparison of Suresh in this entire sentence. So, the adjective tall is in positive degree. The comparative degree is used when two persons or things are being compared. Example, Ram is taller than Suresh. In this example, we can see that we have only two persons to talk about. Ram and Suresh. And between these two, Ram is taller than Suresh and that is comparative degree. The superlative degree is used when more than two persons or things of the same class are compared. Means we are talking about more than two people or two things. He is the youngest in the family. Now as you see in the example, he is the youngest in the family. So we consider that there are more than two members in the family and among them he is the youngest. So that is the superlative degree. We already know the article the is used with the superlative degree. For example, the shortest, the tallest, the longest, the most beautiful, the best, etc. We do not use double superlative. For example, if we say most tallest, most shortest, these are incorrect. We do not use double comparative also. For example, more better, more taller more stronger are incorrect. Adverbs such as easily, decidedly, undoubtedly are sometimes used before the superlatives. For example, this is undoubtedly the best hotel in the city. Remember, only adjectives of quality have the degree of comparison and this thing we have studied in our previous classes too. Now, on the basis of your previous knowledge and flashback, let's check your understanding. I often tell you that as you sit for your English classes, you must keep a notebook and a pen in front of you so that you can note down the important uh, heads and you can check your understanding or check your knowledge by solving the exercise in your notebook. So when the school gets reopened, you'll come full fleshed and full prepared. Fill in the blanks with the correct degree of comparison of the adjectives given in the brackets. Pradeep is the dash boy in the class. Tall. These new bulbs are dash than the old ones. Bright. Can you name the dash river in India? Long. Hari is a dash boy. Hardworking. Yesterday was the dash day of the season. Hot. In current situation, our homes are the dash place to live. Safe. Now you have to write the appropriate degrees of comparison of the given at which are written in the bracket. Now we will see formation of comparative and superlative degrees of adjectives. The, the easiest one is by adding ER. For example, sweet, sweeter, sweetest, small, smaller, smallest, tall, taller, tallest. Now dear kids. As you have already kept a notebook in front of you, can you write down some more adjectives? 
that can be converted into comparative and superlative degrees by adding ER. By adding R or ST, the adjectives which are already ending with E, we do not add one more E there and we just simply add R or ST. For example, brave. If we see the spelling of brave, so we find it is already ending with the letter E. So we will not use one more E and R there. We will simply use R and ST. Brave, braver, bravest. Fine. As you can see, there is already an E at the end of the spelling. So, we will not add on one more E and we will be writing R. Fine, finer and finest. White, whiter and whitest. Ah, by doubling the last consonant. If in the spelling it's big, so we will not write B-I-G-E-R bigger. It will become B-I-G-G-E-R bigger and B I G G E S T biggest. Hot, hotter, hottest. Sad, sadder, saddest. Easy, easier, easiest. Happy, happier, happiest. Lazy, lazier, laziest. And sometimes we use more and most. Like courageous, more courageous, most courageous. Industrious, more industrious, most industrious. Beautiful, more beautiful, most beautiful. Talented, more talented or most talented and so on. Now come some exceptions which do not follow any kind of rule. They are were written or spoken in the same manner like good and well converts into better and best. Bad, evil or ill convert into worse and worst. Little becomes less lesser and least. Much or many becomes become more and most. Late becomes later, last, latest. And far, farther, farthest. Dear kids, here I'll tell you of one very, very important thing. If you want to remember these things easily, so the best way for this is keep speaking English. Read in English. Just watch movies and cartoons in English. As much as you listen to the uh, such kind of things, as much as you speak these kind of things, you learn, learn them very quickly and for a long period of time. Correct use of some adjectives. Use of many and much. Many is used with plural form of countable nouns. It indicates a large number of something that we can count. I kept many pencils in my box. While much is used to indicate the large quantity of an uncountable noun. Multiple times we have used this term countable noun and uncountable noun. And here one more important thing you learned that many can be used with countable noun while much is used with uncountable noun. For example, there is much pudding left in the serving dish. Now use of some or any. Some is used in sentences that are affirmative means positive. Whereas any is generally used in negative sentences. She has brought some oranges, but now not any oranges left. Use of little, a little or the little. Little is used with uncountable nouns and indicates almost none. There is little milk in the pan which is insufficient for tea. A little indicates at least some. The baby can now be satiated as there is a little milk for her. The little indicates the whole though very little means as much was there but it was less. The cat stole the little milk which was left in the pan. Use of few, a few and the few. It is exactly used like the use of little, a little and the little. Few is used with countable noun while little was used with uncountable nouns. So, few students are attending the online classes regularly. Few is used for the countable noun that indicate not many, almost none. Okay. A few indicates a street sum. A little bit. A few students are completing the given task as it's quarantine period. The few shows all of them though very few. Example, the few students who are taking their classes seriously are the ideal ones.
and it's true use of older oldest and elder eldest older and oldest are used to denote age and can be used with both person and things like sumit is older than ravi she is the oldest girl in the group the shoes are older now elder and eldest are used with close family relations like son daughter brother sister and so on example rohit is older of the two brothers her eldest sister lives in bangalore we should never use then with elder you should always remember this like if we say surbi is older than ruddy that is correct but if we say surbi is elder than riya that's wrong it could be surbi is elder to riya use of nearest and next nearest implies distance and next denotes position my house is nearest to the market and the washroom is next to the balcony use of as so or so as 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 generally used with positive statements example she is as sweet as honey we may use as as and so as and as so in negative statement like she is not as innocent as you think now some important points to remember adjectives junior senior inferior superior and in or and followed by to not than there are no comparative and superlative degrees for adjectives like ideal unique complete perfect full entire and chief adjectives of quality answer the question what kind what kind of fruit a sweet fruit a fresh fruit a tasty fruit what kind of girl a beautiful girl a cute girl a chubby girl adjectives of quantity are used with uncountable nouns and they answer the question how much how much rice how much oil how much water adjectives of number are used with countable nouns and they answer the question how many how many pencils three pencils how many days seven days how many books you read i read 12 books demonstrative adjective answer the question which one or which ones those pencils these boys those little puppies possessive adjective answer the question whose whose house my house whose book is this this is her book she is my mother she is my best friend adjectives can be formed by adding suffixes that we have studied in our previous class means yesterday's class now it's a brain teaser for you correct the following sentences he is the oldest of his of all his brothers ritu is most beautiful than sakshi my mother cooks the most tasty food she is senior than me my dress is more brighter than yours and in the second one fill in the blanks and you may use any adjective of your choice radha is a dash singer that you have to use in positive degree zoya and tina are dash friend superlative degree will be used here my brother is dash to me you can use any adjective of comparative degree my grandmother tells me dash stories that can be any adjective which will be followed by superlative degree hina is planning for a dash holiday than the last time any adjective with comparative degree that's all for today i hope the classes are easy for you and if you are learning from them the brain teasers will be really easy peasy for you see you in the next class Stay at home keep yourself safe take care